Bonjour, my name is Marie-Josée Allard. I'm the Director of Hospitality Managing Food Services on campus. Today is our second video of Culinary Capsule and today we're going to celebrate Christmas. I'm happy to have with us Chef Marie-Claude Audet. Passionate about food science and communications, Chef Marie-Claude is infectiously enthusiastic about food. The outcome is creative, tasty, colorful and balanced dishes. Chef Marie-Claude set out to explore the globe, stimulating her taste buds and discovering various methods of cooking. Cooking become both a necessity and a passion. After graduating from Institut de Tourisme et d'Hôtellerie du Québec, ITHQ, she returned to school to learn more about food science and technology a keen interest in food microbiology that leaves nothing to chance when she's creating a culinary delight. Chef Marie-Claude, let's start cooking. Hi, my name is Marie-Claude Audet, and I'm gonna show you how to cook turkey leg roasted with ginger with seabuckthorn chutney. First, we're gonna cut the garlic and the ginger. We're gonna cut enough for the turkey leg and the chutney because uh, those ingredients are present in two, the two recipes. So for the garlic, it's quite easy but noisy. Do that that way. <laughs> and it gets out of the peel. So chop it grossly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you're done with the garlic, you can go with the ginger. An easy trick. You take a, a spoon and you just remove the skin that way. So you lose less of the product than if you were removing the skin with a knife. To grate ginger, you can take a micro plan or you can do it with a knife. Uh, if you do it with a knife, it's gonna be bigger chunks, but it, it doesn't matter for this recipe. So be careful not to grate your fingers. So when you have your turkey leg, you have to separate the drumstick from the thigh. To do that, you have to go between the muscles. You see the little bump here? So you take a sharp knife and you just follow the lead until you see the joint. So you're gonna work your way through the joint. You have also to remove the excess fat because this organic turkey is fatter than the usual turkey you get at the grocery store. So when, once this is done, you dry the pieces because you want the meat to do a good, cr a good crust in the oven. If there's a, an excess of moisture, it's not gonna cook properly. We're gonna put some ginger and garlic under the skin. Why do I put it under the skin? It's because it's gonna burn in the oven. So I'm gonna hide it under the skin, but I wanna keep the, the skin because it does a nice crust. Put your fingers under the skin to make some, some room for the stuffing. So the stuffing is really easy. You take some ginger, you, are, you already grated, and garlic, just a pinch of salt, and pepper. There you go. And you put it under the skin. Take some oil, don't be shy. Make sure there's oil everywhere. You need some fat to begin the grill process. So you put the legs in the pan. You're gonna put it in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for 20 minutes. So for the chutney, we're gonna start first with the browning of the pearl onions. Don't be shy to put a lot of butter because it's good and it's Christmas. There you go. So you make the butter melt. While it's mel melting, I'm gonna Go and cut the celery. You need two branch. 
I'm making small dices, but not too small, because I don't want my chutney to be mushy, because I'm going to cook it. I still want to have the firmness of the celery of all the food I'm cutting. For the cutting of the red pepper, I want to do square pieces. So that way I got a beautiful rectangular piece. I'm peeling a peach, but if I decided to use frozen peach, I wouldn't have to do that. So now I'm gonna peel the Cortland apple from Saint Eustache. Make sure you have well sharpened knife to do so. It makes your life easier in the kitchen. So I'm gonna cut dices approximately the same size. You put all your dices in the same pot. It's all gonna go into the, the pan at the same time anyway. I'm gonna put my pearl onions in it, in the pan and make them caramelized. Pearl onions are brownish. See the great color? Don't go any further than that because it's gonna taste better. So once it's brown, you put the rest of the ingredients, some cloves. I like cloves, tastes, tastes like Christmas, so I'm gonna put three or four. There you go. Some cayenne pepper the garlic, ginger, brown sugar, and the organic vinegar. There you go. So you're gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes before adding the sea buck thorn. So while it's cooking, I'm gonna go check on my turkey. So it has this brown color that we're looking for, but inside it's not cooked enough. So I wanna stop the, the coloring of the, of the meat by putting a foil, but don't put it tight, it needs to breathe so keep a little moist inside so i'm gonna put it back in the oven and make sure i reduce the temperature to 350 degrees so we're gonna go back to the chutney the finishing touch and not the least is the sea buckthorn let it simmer until the liquid gets more thicker and when it, once it's done, you're ready to eat. So we're gonna plate the, the dish for the family. As a side dish, I decided today to do a little potato scramble. Just a hint of butter, salt and pepper, a little piece of carrots, there you go. Okay, so whenever your turkey is ready, cut it a little sideways. That way you have thin pieces. See inside the stuffing that I put? It's juicy, it, did it, it didn't burn to turkey. Put the skin on top. I'm gonna pour the chutney on the turkey, but some on the side. And I'm gonna finish the plate with some daikon radish microgreen. Bon appétit. The smell is incredible. It really smells Christmas. I can't wait to taste this chutney and I really like this idea of the buckthorn. Let me taste that. Mm. Your guests will love it for Christmas. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. Very nice. Congratulations, Chef Michael. Very good.